Hi, my name is John McKernan. I'm a professional lighting designer, and I wrote LightRight. Since 1982, Broadway shows, opera houses, regional theaters, and dance companies around the world have relied on LightRight's precision and speed. Only LightRight has proven itself able to satisfy the critical demands of designers and electricians as they organize the enormous amounts of information required to plan, hang, and maintain a modern lighting design. LightRight is overwhelmingly the preferred way to document and share lighting paperwork and has been honored by receiving two LDI Software Product of the Year awards and a 2004 Eddy Award. Lighting Dimensions magazine recognized it as one of the products that has changed our world. So let's see what it's all about. We're looking at the Mac version of LightRite, but the Windows version has all of the same features. This is LightRite's worksheet, which looks like most other spreadsheets, but it has a lot of unique features to make it easier to enter and view lighting data. You can have more than one show file open at a time, each with their own worksheet. The View and Sort menus let you choose what you see on the worksheet and in what order. LightRite automatically turns relevant columns on and off, based on what you were looking at the last time you viewed it. If your show has equipment like moving lights that have multiple parameters, you can use collapsible attribute rows. Here are a few of the special ways you can edit the worksheet. When you hold down the Option key, the cursor turns into a paste brush, which enters data with a single click. You can use Plus Editing, which is an easy way to renumber cells. or raise their numbers by a given amount. LightRight understands DMX universes and can show you dimmer column entries in absolute format, in universe format, which includes the universe number followed by the number within that universe, or in a combined format that shows you the arithmetic. You can enter the number in any format and LightRight will automatically translate it. Color cells display a sample of what the color filler looks like. LightRight knows about all of the major brands and will automatically change the sample whenever the color changes. Gobo cells show you a small version of the Gobo, and hovering your mouse over it pops up a large image of it. Clicking a jump icon will show you all of the worksheet rows that contain the same data as the cell you clicked on with an easy return to your original view. There are shortcut buttons that let you choose a category to view or sort by with a simple click, and bookmarks that let you come back to the same view with a single click. LightRight keeps track of your worksheet changes based on the user profile you used when you logged onto your computer. Changes you make are highlighted in green, changes made by other people are shown in red, and changes made by Vectorworks are in brown. Right-clicking any worksheet cell gives you the option to see a history of all of the changes made to that cell, including what the change was, who made the change, and when they made it. You can restore any previous entry by choosing it from the history list. When you do that, the change becomes another entry in the list. You can also sort the worksheet based on when changes were made, clear entries prior to a specific time, or revert the worksheet back in time. Maintenance lets us enter all kinds of details about our show. Instrument type maintenance shows each kind of light being used with details that include how many are in stock, the default wattage, what kind of color frame it has, what size gobo it uses, its default vector work symbol and label legend, and much more. The tabs at the bottom of the worksheet take you to two other major parts of LightRight, Focus and Layout. The Focus tab is where you enter focus chart information for your lights, including a photo or any other graphic, which you can then draw on top of using simple tools. The Layout tab takes you to LightRight's paperwork design area. Layout is where you choose which columns you want on your printouts, where you want them, what fonts and type styles you prefer, and where you need divider lines. Layouts are a kind of style sheet that can be independent of the show file. When it comes time to print, you choose an appropriate layout. This means each person using the show file can have their own private version of their paperwork. Work notes are another great feature of LightRight. 
Each row here is a work note. In addition to the note itself, each work note can have a status, be assigned categories, and be attached to specific lights. The Print Distribute button opens the work note distribution window, where you decide who gets which work notes and how they get them. Work notes can be printed, transmitted across a network, emailed, or exported to a file, all by clicking the Distribute Now button. Lightrite includes a color scroll window, where you can design your color scrolls by simply dragging and dropping colors. There is also a wheel window, where you design the layout of moving light wheels, including specifying which ones can rotate and their orientation within the wheel. VectorWorks Data Exchange gives you real-time data sharing between LightWrite and VectorWorks. Changes you make in either program are automatically carried over to the other one. A live count window shows you running totals of your lights and accessories in real time. Lightrate can also count color, instrument types, gobos, and any other equipment you're using. You can get all kinds of useful reports. And Lightrate can check your data for common mistakes. And of course, it can print all of the standard kinds of paperwork. There are many more terrific features, including comparing shows and reconciling them with each other, assigning dimmers automatically, and using footnotes to save space. Other videos are available to learn more about LightWrite at mckernan.com. LightWrite is available from city theatrical dealers around the world. For a complete dealer list, go to citytheatrical.com. Thanks for watching.